Hey YouTube, this is Mr. Waits of Time 99 here, coming to you with a kind of deck profile. Uh, sorry, I have not been making many videos. Um, I've been on track from work and been getting ready for school. Um, also, I'm getting ready for the Grand Prix at the end of the month. Um, but yeah, I figured I'd bring you a deck tech of what I've been playing. Um, I completely scrapped my deck idea and I want control. I know most of my decks have been aggro, but this one is complete control, and I can't wait to show you guys. Um, so the first card, I'll show you the Planeswalkers. First Planeswalker, Tamiyo. I play two of her. And by the way, this deck, you will know what it is by the next card. Next card, Nicobolus. Yep, Grixis. That is the deck, and it's actually been working very well for me. I only played two of each. Um, Three Snapcaster Mages, just to get the space in the deck. And to reiterate all the spells, because holy god, there are a lot of spells in this deck. Um, Olivia, for aggro, and for flying creatures. She's really good. Um, Phyrexian Metamorph, I play two of them, two promo editions. Um, they're really good, uh, copying your uh, um, enemies' creatures or artifacts, or even copying a Gilded Lotus is really amazing. Um... It's also awesome to copy this, Worm Coil Engine, part, another part of the aggro of the deck. Um, it's really amazing, probably the best creature in standard right now. Uh, two Solemns, just to search out land. Um, really awesome card, always is. A card that norm a creature that people don't normally play. I play one Thunder Maw Hellkite, just for the flying creatures. Um, gets rid of birds really easy. Um, it's just... it. It's a free 5 damage at the beginning of the turn if it's cast, so it's just awesome. Um, those are the creatures that I run the deck, not many. Um, now I'll get on to the spells. I wanted to space out the card draw on the deck, so I have two ponders. Play two of them. Uh, two think twice. More card draw. And two forbidden alchemy. Uh, I play these cards. Um, I'm only playing... 25 lands. Um, the card draw just helps me get through the lands and get to the cards that I need. Um, it's actually really good just to have the the two of each because Ponder allows me to set up. Um, for the removal, I have I play two Black Suns, kind of the standard of this deck because you need the board if you need the board sweeper for the fatties. Um, go for the throat. Uh, you can side these out if your opponent is playing anything with um, artifacts. Um, I actually faced a Tempered Steel deck, which I lost to because I had to because I had this in my hand and couldn't get rid of the um, creatures. Um, but it's just overall a very good card. It's Doomblade. You'll face up against black matchups, and it just gets in the way. Uh, two Slag Storms. Just awesome board sweeper at the beginning of the game. Um, you'll have this in hand, and this deck is all about just board sweeping and stalling to get Nicobolas out. Uh, a card I don't normally play um, in standard, but I actually find that is really good, um, is Duress. Um, really good, uh, gets rid of, like for Heartless Summoning, gets rid of that Heartless Summoning in their hand that they have that they can drop on turn 2, because you played this on turn 1. I actually had Deadweight in here instead of this, and it works good for um, Predator Ooze, but... The rest just works so much better. Now, I do not play Mana Leaks. I play um, one Essence Scatter for the creatures and two Negates for the spells. Um, depending on what, I actually have in my sideboard an, an Essence Scatter and a Negate. So if I play Delver or I play Esper, I side in all three Negates. If I'm playing a more Naya, I side in one Essence Scatter and keep one Negate in um, for Bonfire. Um, to side to round out the one island one one island one swamp pillar of flame gets rid of undying really fast really good card um, I just found myself fighting strangle root guys and needing to get rid of them and also against solemn sing alacrum they can't draw a card um, basically another staple of the deck gilded lotus I play two most decks right now are playing three but I honestly think that's really too much. Um, you really only need two, especially with the card draw that I have in my deck. Um, playing four, 
Drown Catacombs, Four Solver Falls, Four Dragon Skull Summits, yada yada yada. The lands, um, I'm going with Five Islands, Four Swamps, I mean, uh, Four Mountains, oh, and Four Swamps. So Four, Four, Five, and the rest of the Dual Lands. Um, that is basically the main board. Um, it actually has done really well for me. Um, it's amazing at tournaments. Um, it's really fun to play too. I when I started playing Magic, I was Control, and then when I got back, and then when I quit and got back into Magic, I was Aggro. And I'm just so glad that I got back into Control. It should it feels so much better, um, and it feels just something that I'm comfortable with. Um, for the sideboard, I play a Karn, just for Control matchups. Obviously, Karn is amazingly good at control. Uh, Spell Skite um, is really good. Um, Rancor or Vapor Snag, you can Vapor Snag this target instead of them trying to save their own. It's just a really good all about round card. A card that has saved my butt more than once um, is Zealous Conscripts. Um, I actually faced a mirror match and I side this in, and I had Worm Coil Engine out, attacked, um, and I metamorphed copying my Wormcoil engine, and he played Nicobolus, stealing my copy. And then I played this, stealing his Nicobolus, minusing two Nicobolus, steal back my copy, and swing for the win. Just a really good, awesome card. Uh, Surgical Extraction. Uh, for matchups that I know that a lot of cards are going to be in the graveyard. Uh, Memory side for cards for obvious decks. Like, I name Phantasmal Image, I name Snapcaster Mage, Delver, really anything. Um, dissipate, two of them. Just um, more counter spells. The most efficient counter spell out right now, I think. Just allow more costing mana. Um, like I said, the uh, essence scatter and negate. Tormog's crypt. I side this in specifically in for Esper. The heal spell bomb is good, but I feel that like just I need this card because it's going to be really useful when um, the heal spell bomb leaves. I'm probably still going to play it when the heal spell spell bomb leaves. And then finally, I'm playing two Whip Flare on the sideboard. I know a lot of people play it main board, but honestly, uh, Slagstorm works really well. And just siding in Whip Flare for more removal just is amazing. And that is the deck, basically. Um, leave a comment, guys, down below if you have any more ideas that you want me to do on the channel or any ideas you have for the deck that could help. Um, I take all suggestions. I read all your comments. Um, so I will see you guys next time. And I have already pre-ordered my box for Return to Ravnica, so you can guarantee that that box opening is going to be coming when Return to Ravnica comes out. So I will see you guys later, and thank you for watching.